Well, hello everybody, it is Monday night, Stamp With Me Live at 7.30 p.m. Central Time, um, usually the second and fourth Mondays of every month. And I, I like to post what we're gonna make beforehand so you can join me. Sometimes you might wanna cut out some pieces and get your projects or your pieces ready. And other times you might just wanna watch me live um, and do it later. So there's options here. Okay, I'm just trying to get my laptop to sync up. I think I, I'm on there. Let's see who is joining me today. Just got to get, there we go, Marilyn and Karen, right away. Awesome, awesome. So this was a, um, a layout I found on Pinterest, and it didn't use Stampin' Up! product, and I thought, that's kind of fun. So I just kind of made it up. I didn't go to the site to look at directions or anything. I just decided to wing it. Um, so I gave you dimensions. How many of you are stamping tonight with me and going to try these? And I, I made up the name. I'm calling it a four-way split angled card. Um, maybe there's a better name, but I thought that kind of um, amplifies what this is. So, um, so, all right, we're going to start. So what I used here, this one uses the Abstract Beauty designer paper. It is four by six, which is a different size. Awesome, Gloria's, Marilyn, Karen, wonderful. My flower bugs are on it, yay. Um, so so uh, Abstract Beauty for this one, I'm gonna make another one featuring Abstract Beauty tonight using different pa choice of paper. And this one I made using a stamp set. So I used the Flowing Flowers stamp set here and stamped uh, my large flower first and then some of the small ones and some leaves around it. And both of these feature the, um, let's see what it, oh, I just, the Amazing Thanks dies. So this is quickly becoming a favorite of mine. They are layered, um, um, let's see, thanks and amazing, and then there's the U and the R word. So you can kind of put together some different, um, different sayings with that. And they're just so nicely layered. So they have the, the bold, the thicker on the back, and then the, uh, front layer actually fits right in there nicely um, that you can cut for so I here I did the white and the Clipso coral gold on the bottom and uh, magenta madness for that one okay so I did do another one now this one measures the designer paper is three and three quarter by five and then the layer underneath it is four inches by uh, five and a quarter. So this has a very narrow split here that you see that shows your background. So here is a wider one. So I, I kept them pretty much the same, a little different color in the background, to see what you thought of the wider. So here, this is three and a half uh, designer paper by four and three quarters. So three and a half by four and three quarters, and this is the same four inches by five and a quarter. So you get a lot wider split. Now you could do this differently and have behind here, instead of the, the pink that I have, you could put designer paper here and kind of more of a plain, maybe stamped, maybe even a different designer paper. There is quite a variety you could do. Um, so anyway, that's the three that I've done so far. So we're gonna get creating. I'm gonna share how to make these. I'm gonna maybe leave these down in the corner here so you can see them. And I'm gonna use this piece right here. So this is my designer paper. I can't remember if this was my smaller one or not. Let me see here. This one is four, oh, I remember what I did. I did a totally different size and I did three and five eighths by uh, four and seven eighths. So I decided to do one in between these two. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like to change things up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put one on top of the other so I can follow my angle. So if you look at my paper trimmer, there is no measuring here. I am going to challenge you to do this without measuring. So what I went for is what I'm going for is to start here about, I would say that's about a half an inch from the corner 
And then I didn't want to get to the center point. I wanted it just before the center point. So if you're measuring, this would be, let's see, three and a half, two, or one and three quarters, one and seven eighths, something like that. But you know what? I'm just going to encourage you to wing it. Don't stress this small stuff. So just put your paper on there at an angle. Um, there we go. That looks pretty good. And then cut. Just do it. It's just paper. You can do it. All right. So now I'm going to kind of piece this back together. And now I know that I'm going to go from low to a little bit higher. So this is where you could put a scrap paper back here. In fact, I wonder if I have something. I think I do. <laughs> Just so you could see the possibilities here of what you could do. Okay, so if, if you have trouble holding it together, I have a piece of scrap from my garbage here. And I will just kind of glue that back together lightly. So I'm gonna peel it off later. That looks pretty good. Okay, now to find my split again. This is the top, this is the bottom. So I know that I wanna go low to high. I'm just following this, and that's what I did when I saw this card on Pinterest. I just looked at the card and basically wung it. Okay, so now we have our pieces. Put them right here. And peel off our little helper. I guess you could call that a helper piece. There we go, there's our piece right there. So I'm using just jade for this, and now you need a lot of dimensionals if you want to pop it up. So what I tend, I have a lot of side pieces here. I'm just going to cut these into small pieces so I can use them up. I never throw these away. I just, I, I like to use them. Oops, okay. We're gonna start with our largest piece and start, whoop, a little sticky there and just start adding dimensionals you want to do one in the middle to support it and they are coming off very easily these little pieces probably because i trimmed them and another little piece there and you wouldn't have to use edges use whatever you like i just um, grabbed my my piece beside me and decided to use up those edges okay they're all off Okay, so it's helpful to have this lined up so you know what goes where, and hopefully. And before, oh, that's not right. <laughs> okay, before you put it on or press it on, you, you may want to piece it. So I'm not gonna press that down until I do this. And now I can see that I have to move that over a little bit. So this is, this is gonna be the hard, the struggle for many of you. And what you may want to do is leave this piece bigger, put your pieces on here, and then trim this to size. That may be helpful for some of you who struggle with getting things straight. Because I know it is a struggle for um, many of you. I, luckily that's one of my, the things I, I'm good at. I can see straight um, easily. So if this isn't still straight and even, I will lift this up again, and it looks like it isn't. So you don't wanna press down. In fact, another tip you could do is to maybe just peel one off and then leave all these with the backing still on and then kind of um, gauge it before you adhere anything, everything, I should say everything. It looks pretty good. And you know, you have to get to the point where you just don't sweat the small stuff. So <laughs> you just uh, shouldn't um, overthink and expect perfection. It's a handmade card, right? So those are my tips for you. First of all, don't stress. And um, second of all, just estimate and then trim when you're done. So it's a super simple card and just think, I, I really like the fact that you can make a card by also stamping a background too. I'm gonna show you another option for those of you who don't have a die cut here on, um, actually on this card. I started with um, an idea and I'm gonna show you what you can do if you don't have a die cut word or greeting that you can use. Oh, that one's not quite even. 
And you know, it may not be perfect when you're done, and it's okay. It is okay to not be perfect. <laughs> Some of us stress over that. Okay, I'm using Magenta Madness again. Isn't that bright and fun? It looks kind of Eastery as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to my card base. And my card base was four and a quarter by 11. And when you do your card base that way, um, you will be scoring or folding it at five and a half. Okay, so I did cut out Amazing from the Amazing Thanks dies, and I would normally put it right here. I'm gonna try something different. And from the, let's see, Create with Friends stamp set, we have Amazing. We have Celebrate, Friends, Create, and all these matching words. I love this stamp set if you don't have it. It might be something um, that you want to get. So I stamped the word amazing on a piece of white. And I know there's no white on here. And that's the, the hard part. I may not finish it that way, but I wanted you to see what you can do. If you do have a greeting set, you can fussy cut it. If you don't want to put, like pretend this is your piece of cardstock. If you don't want to put a full piece of cardstock there to kind of ruin I don't know. I don't know if I want to say the word rune, but it would um, take away from the, the angled, the split angled here. You can fussy cut it. So what you do is you just stamp and then you just estimate go cutting around this so you get a layered greeting. So it involves some time. Actually, it only took me a couple of minutes to do this. The more you do this kind of thing, the better you will get. And you just, like I said, don't stress about being perfect. It just adds a fun little detail um, when you do this kind of fussy cutting. So I may, I'm not sure what designer paper I used on the other one. No, this won't work. But like I said, this could work beautifully. If I were to do that, let me see. What I may do is add something like this, a little something underneath it, kind of like this one was where I added a piece underneath it. It just seemed a little bit too much white. So I added just a strip of pear pizzazz under this one. This is Clipso Coral pear pizzazz and a little bit of daffodil. But I think that could be really cute, just adding it like that. I'm going to use the Amazing though, because it, like I said, this doesn't have any white on it. I did stamp it in the misty moonlight. It would work, but mm, it just doesn't quite do it for me. So I'm gonna leave that alone. All right, so. We just add a little bit of liquid glue. You could easily use our adhesive sheets to cut this out as well. I didn't think about it when I was cutting these out, so I didn't. Just a tiny bit. This glue is, is awesome for small little detailed areas. You just need smears. And honestly, I like to smear my dots a little bit so they don't ooze out. You don't have to get everywhere. You just, and I'm barely squeezing this so it does a lot doesn't come out. Okay, so turn this over. How many of you have these? The um, Amazing Thanks dies. They're getting a lot, oops, a lot of use on the, um, on Pinterest and the Demonstrator Planning Place and all the places people post their projects. So the nice thing about this glue, if you don't have it yet, is that it slides. You can maneuver things. They don't stick real strongly, so you can, you can slide them into place. And now I'm going to just add, and luckily this, the back part of this die cut is large enough that you can add some mini dimensionals to the back of it. You could also cut some narrow little um, strips as well if you didn't have mini dimensionals. So you can hide them. Okay. I think that's just a simple, simple card that um, is very striking. So you can add some pearls or some, here I added uh, the sequins, the um, artistry sequins to these cards. So that's how I embellish those. You could do so much more. I just wanted to have a basic, um, layout for you so you can get some quick cards done without and without this there's no die cutting it's just um, a nice quick card okay so for the next card i'm going to do 
I'm going to use the same card base in um, Magenta Madness, but I wanted to use the expressions in ink 12 by 12. This is one of the things that will probably retire when the retiring list comes out next week for the annual catalog. Well, I'm glad you like it. The, the, this one here, this is, um, yes, from Flowing Flowers Julie. Yep. Let's see, I'm looking at some of the, yes, you can add foam dimension. Yes, we do have those foam adhesives that you can cut these out with. You're right, I should try that, Michelin. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, you, have, you got the, the glue holder, Carol? Awesome, yeah, these are very handy for keeping your glue point down so it flows nicely. All right, so let's do this again and do some trimming. If you just joined me, this is what I'm calling the four-way split angled card. So I'm going to follow my split here and just wing it doing it without any measurements, going a little bit before the halfway point on this card and just cut. Then you do have to piece this back together and that's pretty important to get this in place before you do the next cut. Okay, you do because when you put it together on your card, you want it to be exact, okay. All right, that's all there is to it. And then just go ahead and lay your pieces on. And we'll put them kind of back together like a puzzle. So this one, oh, I should measure that. <laughs> I should have. I think this one is the three and three quarter by five. We'll find out how big a split it is because I know this is four by five and a quarter. And this is another thing to do, um, is to lay it on here before you put it all, yes, this isn't gonna be a narrow, a more narrow uh, split, I call it a split. Okay, so you're gonna get back to your dimensionals and start putting them, oh, this is kind of hard to see. This uh, piece of designer paper is kind of white on the back for most of it. Go around the edge and then do a center one so it doesn't collapse in the center and it gets supported all the way across on your card. Okay, so you can lay that in place. That's going to help me know <laughs> where to put this next piece. I'm gonna piece, I'm gonna estimate that. Okay. I'm not going to press it down very hard and just see. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap it lightly. <laughs> okay. More dimensionals. I am they are sticky. Some of my little backings are coming off right away, so I don't have to take them off myself. Let's see, I wanna make sure I'm catching any comments. Yeah, exactly, as long as you're paying attention to the cut a little bit, you should not have too much of a problem. I'm gonna do some more trimming here. And for the next few pieces, one more, one right here on the edge. So yeah, it's a really neat layout. What do you think, what would you call it? Do you like the four-way split angled name for this card? Like I said, I don't know if there's a real name. Just made it up. I think it's super simple though. I mean, think of a great way to use your designer paper and it's kind of just a unique layout. I really like the fact that it's not something we've all done um, before. Oh, most of those are off, okay. All right, thank you, Betty. I'm glad you like them. So just trying to match up my angles. Might be a little off right there, but I'm not gonna stress about it. And just a few more pieces on this one, and then we'll finish this off. Okay. 
This is Magenta Madness, Just Jade, and um, Expressions in Ink designer paper. It has that gold, um, gold background or gold accents to it. So I'm sure there are many ways to do this. By the way, oh, I forgot to mention the door prize. Last week or last time I had a, a stamp with me live. I challenge people to make a floating card. My team has been doing this for, um, for the last few weeks. It's one of our challenges on my Flower Bugs team. And we were getting some neat ideas um, using floating the floating technique. And a few people, not very many, I was just surprised that not many of you joined in and created a floating card. But the winner of the floating card challenge was Candace Birch. So thank you so much, Candace, for sharing yours your card and you will be receiving, let me see where your prize is, I had it out, here we go. You will be receiving the classic matte dots. So that's what I'll be sending you for your, um, for sharing your project. So this time, those of you who share one of these four-way split angled cards will be in a drawing for the prize in two weeks. Now I will be drawing the name you have until March 27th, that's two weeks from last night, from Sunday, to um, get in on, on sharing this. And I'm gonna pop this one up, I think. Um, so yeah, make sure that you try this and share your card on the post that I will create. It'll, it's called Stampin', and let's see, Let's Share. It'll say, let's share on it, and I'm challenging you to share your version of these cards. So, looking forward to seeing what you all make. And it'll be on my um, Stamp and Share page. It's not on the Flower Books Ink Spot, it's on the Stamp and Share. So, like I said, I'll share a link to it in the description of this video so you can find it. All right, now I did bring in my artistry sequins. We'll see what matches here. I think I can do the peach and almost do those two. Let's see. Thanks for sharing, I appreciate that. Yeah, I do have a stamp and share page, so or a group, I should say. So I have one that is where I post everything. Then I have another one where I encourage others to post and share their projects. Okay, this one I don't think I'm going to add any sequins because it's I don't know it's it's more busy. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. But there we go. So I highly encourage you to try this layout, whether you stamp something like this one, or whether you use a wide split or a narrow split. There's lots of different ways to make this, this four-way split card. Three, yeah, four-way split card. So they're so pretty and bright. Well, I did use a lot of bright colors. This one is Mango Melody with Magenta Madness, and of course, Gold, Just Jade with Jim uh, with magenta madness and gold and same here jade and magenta this is pear pizzazz with calypso coral and balmy blue with uh, magenta madness so lots of different possibilities how did i stamp this flowing card I, well i had it in one piece first so it was three and three quarters by five i stamped the flower first oh you're, I know what, what you're wondering. So you're wondering how I did this because the leaves are connected. Well, I doctored my stamp set up and took them off. I don't like, I don't know where it even was on here, but this image, well, I can put it right, right beside it. That image was, I think it was like that. And then I took off, I cut it, I just, I really doctored it up. I cut off that piece and this piece. So I wanted my splatters to be separate and I wanted my leaves to be separate. Cause I'm like, why would I ever want them all to be one color? I think I, and if I do, I just put them all on the same block. So if I do wanna put them back, let me just 
find a block that's big enough, of course. And she would put however that one was. I don't know if it really matters. I think it was. I'm doing it wrong. I'm not paying attention to the picture. But that's basically what it was. And you can get that right up to it. So it doesn't matter if you really want it back together again. But why would I? I wanted my leaves to be a different color. So I just stamped that flower first and then this this little one in daffodil next and a couple leaves. And the nature of this stamp set is that you don't have to get it so perfect. The edges are kind of diffuse. It's a, um, a distinctive stamp set. So it, it gives that highlights of one color, but you, you stamp in one color, but it gives highs and lows. And I did sponge a little bit of yellow in the center of that. So if that answers your question, I hope. Awesome, I'm glad you won it, Karen. Great, hope that you, um, yeah, using glue and not dimensionals, that's probably a good idea. That's a good idea. All right, um, you got, wait, Lori, you got eight cards cut and glued while I was talking. Holy cow, you're fast. Awesome, I hope that you um, share them. Everybody who's done these, share them on the Flower Bug Stamp and Share group and you'll be in the prize drawing for um, next uh, two weeks from now. And I'll let you know who, who won. All right, I will see some of you tomorrow morning, uh, 11 a.m. Central Time, where I do my weekly Facebook Live. Um, and yeah, that's it. So don't forget to share by March 27th, your version of the four-way split cards. All right. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.